Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's Mod. I'm going to get started on a new run here. We'll do the um, Bug Family of Hacks, and let's check out our challenge points. I'm thinking about just sticking with Totems and No Clover so that I don't have to worry about tip scales. I think that that was hitting me a little bit hard, um, but I do need some more points on the board. So maybe, let's see, oh, this is a hard choice. Um, I guess let's do no boss rares and we'll just focus on a weaker s set of cards. Perhaps it'll work out fine after all. Okay, let's see what we can do. Perhaps having the clover to do a reroll um, will make the difference too. Okay, I want to go for kind of an ant focused or insect focused build and um, I need to look up what each of these guys do but we'll get this guy and how about stinky skunk just so we can have that stinky sigil later on on a good card perhaps. All right. Well, we could do um, a sigil swap, or we could power something up, or we could get items. And I don't think getting items makes sense since I've already got a full pack here. So um, sigil swap, don't really see it either. So let's go to power up and see what our chances are. Health, okay. Let's throw that on one of our flying ants so that we can have uh, a powerhouse here. If we get to combine them up, having a ant, flying ant that has four health um, would be pretty strong. And this one is at least as good defense as a uh, ant queen already, so that's not bad. Okay, pronghorn is coming at us. So we could get the skunk down and immediately take out its ability to uh, do damage on the first turn. I think that's a wise idea. We can get another one and make it completely unviable. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> now I can't do anything. Now we have no rush whatsoever. Uh, I guess a little bit since it has a guard dog. I could have put it in front of the stump instead and we wouldn't have had this issue, but that's okay. Another flying ant. Alright, and an ant queen. Nice. We'll sacrifice one of the skunks to get in on the board. Alright, we're not going to do that quite yet though. So, we'll sacrifice... I suppose um, either of them doesn't really matter. So we'll get us a worker ant back on the board, and we'll play this one, and that'll take out the pronghorn. Okay, we should get enough excess damage here um, to collect a considerable amount of teeth. We should get S14. Oh yeah. Just about filled up the bowl in our uh, first fight already. Good. And we don't have pricey pelts turned on too, so that's uh, pretty nice. Ah, field mice. We could take the fecundity uh, ability. So let's do that. Alright, adding some attack power to something. Um, I guess... Hmm. Could have some really strong field mice. But, yeah, yeah, let's do that, because we could get his power up, and um, if we get a second set, that would be cool, or else we can use the fecundity, uh, and it's as powerful as a wolf now, so that's nice. I'm hoping to go for kind of a smaller deck of cards, and but with a decent amount of power, so... 
Okay, let's break out this squirrel so we can take out the um, wolf cub in one go. We'll get us a uh, field mouse on the board. And uh, that'll be that. Okay. And let's see, we can put down a skunk in front of our alpha, and that will block it from doing any damage. Okay. There we are. Not bad for just playing a squirrel. Ooh, okay. Um, I think I'll take the corpse maggot so that maybe we can auto deploy something of higher value, such as the ant queen or maybe a three blood of some sort. Let's go ahead and get the insect head. All right. Uh, looks like a sigil swap and a wood carver. And I want to get another wood carver if I go this way. And um, sigil swap. Sounds a little bit better than pelt trading at this time, but I've already got enough. I could probably get a golden pelt. Um, so I'm going to go this way instead. I'm not feeling desperate enough yet. Um, I also don't feel like I have a big enough deck to start sacrificing cards just to do a sigil replacement. So let's see, what can we go with? Fortunately, everything is at risk of being lost, but I could play this to block the most damage and corpse maggots will get put on the board automatically. This one's looking tough already though. I'm not positive my ability to uh, win this one without using a power up of some sort. But I am about to get the ant queen on the board. Is that something I suppose? And we now have a worker ant too. Um, I could replace the corpse maggots and that might be a better move than anything else I can do. Okay. A flying ant. Alright, well you might concede, but we gotta keep going. There we go, that'll get four or five excess teeth. Nice. Now we should have enough to uh, get us a golden pelt, I believe. Okay, two golden pelts. Okay, and uh, I suppose we'll go ahead and get a rabbit pelt too. There we go. Sigils. Rampager and Sprinter. Um, hmm. Not sure if either of these sound the best. I could get one just to have it, but I'm always leery of having activated stuff, so I want to go with the K9 head instead. I think I'd rather wait until we get a different set of sigils. Alright. Some might. Um, again, we could power up our field mice or our corpse maggots. Could get powered up, but I kind of want to steal its sigil and put it on something else. Um, I think I'll power up the field mice again. Because if we get Fecundity and um, Auto Deploy on this with the corpse maggots ability, that would be kind of sweet. Okay. We should not power up. Um, feel nice, but we'll see how it goes this time. Ah, oh, it's gonna be hard. A waterborne coyote. So we can't really do anything about it. That's lame. Um. Well, I guess we could put the smoke down. And that'll block it for a turn, and. Um, could get a flying ant started just to get some damage on the board, but I think I'd rather 
wait a turn and draw another card. Okay. And a rabbit pelt. Alright, still don't have much of an option here. Fortunately, the coyote's gonna take out the corpse maggots too. Another rabbit pelt. Okay. Um, I guess let's block it off and I will wait till the next turn to play something better. I think I want to have to drag that coyote over. It's just putting too much damage on me. Um, I can't even get like a good card down yet. Alright, yeah, I'm going to have to drag one of these guys over. It's just too, uh, too big of a push that they're doing on me. We'll do a golden pelt and um, it may be close to enough to last us until we can get another card on the board. Um, kind of considering attacking the pack mule just to get the party started there. Alright. because I know we're going to lose that worker ant right away, but got to do something here. I'm just about going to run out of space here if I look at things. Um, we'll knock down only two more damage here, so um, even if I pull a tooth, it's not going to be enough. But we did get the cards, and losing a couple of these things... Um, will be good, ultimately. There we go. So we don't want to let a lot left on the board when it uh, comes time. So we're going to do plus three, but they're going to do plus four. So I need to play something. Um, I could play the beehive to generate a couple, or a bee, which would break us even. Um, play the alpha but I really don't want to lose it so if I pull a tooth that will put us at plus one or actually it may be enough to get us to go past since we are going to put three damage on the board um, so let's do it actually I could have done it without it now but I did need to get rid of the uh, tooth pulling anyway so all right now I need to play enough to uh, counter these coyotes that are going to be a problem, so I'll probably get the alpha on the board, and um, we'll go from there. Ooh, we got field mice. So we could play field mice and also get um, the alpha on the board, and that should be enough damage that we win in one turn. Okay. Strong field mice really played out well for us. Nice. Got a lot of bone tokens in that round. That was a really hard first boss, actually. I'm kind of surprised. You must excuse me, these are not rare cards. Flying ant. All right. So, a black goat that is tempting. Just wondering what the chances of us getting like a three power card are. Um, might be good to keep in the hand anyways because of helping out with blood requirements on some of these more expensive things. So we'll take it. It's not a rare, but it's something. All right, let's get up into the cave. Alright, 
five bone, three sigil, and two kin. I think two kin may be my best bet. It's a hard one, um, even yet though. I don't have tons of sigils. Well, actually I have sigils on everything but the pelts, but I'm afraid the pelts could hold me back because if I just draw one of them, that'd be game over. So let's go with two again. I think either one of them are going to be difficult. Hey, we barely got it. <laughs> I got nervous when I saw the goat. Ooh, a wolf cub with um, dam builder. I thought it was for Kennedy there for a second. But a river sniper with it. It's kind of nice. Rattler that refunds the bone cost. Um, this wolf cub sounds like it could be nice and annoying though, so I'm going to take it. If I could play it early in a fight, it could be well worth it. Give me some good defense on the board. Oh, let's see. It's a black goat. Forgot I already had to use my um, hook, which is a little bit sad. I probably should just let that match be a loss, but I think I let my pride get the better of me. Alright, Beehive and Kingfishers. Um, the fur is going to block them a little bit, so it's feeling like saving up for a turn may be a wise move. I could get the mice started, start generating some uh, bees, so, okay, we'll just do it that way. I'm not sure they're going to be able to get out of this hole anyways. see we'll just go ahead and play our other field mouse and think it's gonna be excess damage and that's it good I think we should be able to afford at least a wolf pelt by now with the amount of damage we did extra um, sacrificing something for a bone token hmm. I don't really see a card for that yet so I'm gonna go to the right and we'll go with power up route instead. Let's go ahead and get us a three blood. We're going to need it at some point. I feel like my better runs usually require having at least one three blood to stand a chance. All right, giving some attack power to somebody. Um, well, I think uh, I'll go with Moose Buck and We'll make it kind of a juggernaut on the field because if it can do four damage, um, that's pretty nice. Ooh, and I saw a fungi event coming up too. Oh no, insects are going to grow stronger. That's going to be tough. Um, getting rid of the cuckoo sounds like top priority. However, I do have Dam Builder on the wolf cub, so I think I'll it in the middle here. There we go. And the dams are going to get stronger and they have tells. Wow, I didn't think about that implication. That's going to be funny to see play out when they get hit. I'm not sure that they count as air defense, so yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's a fun and a half. That's great. Okay. Um, Got a screenshot that one. That's pretty funny. So guess we could get a flying ant down and we should turn this around pretty quickly next turn should have a fair amount of excess damage let's see we can't sacrifice the dams either so um, yeah I guess I don't really have anything to do I'm gonna win it anyways not a ton of excess, but that was pretty cool. That wolf cub looks like it could really be overpowered. Which is fine by me. Insects. Alright. Could have this mega strong ant queen. Um, could combine up flying ant to have four power as well. Um, 
Yeah, let's see. Maybe combining up the flying ant to have four power or four defense would be a good idea. Um, versus, I don't need to get items right now. And yeah, let's go with the duplicate route. And let me look at what we have here because I'm going back and forth between if I want that or the ant queen. Um, Interesting that you can combine the pelts. I guess that you could use that as like a really strong defense. Um, so that's interesting in that regard. Um, I think that combining up the Ant Queens so that we have like a really strong defense and the two blood is worth it a little bit more. Um, we'll keep the separate wasps since they're only are the flying ants yeah, since they're only one blood each um i think that makes more sense overall it's hard to get two blood in time you know sometimes all right looks like a job for our wolf cub again and yeah there we go Okay. Another mud turtle. I think I might be able to sacrifice tails, but I'm not positive. I have to look and see. All right, Ant Queen, is it your turn? Um. I guess let's play a skunk against that mud turtle. Not that it really mattered. Sometimes we just go uh, power hungry. <laughs> Ooh, rattler. Okay. Could duplicate a rattler and have a six and two rattler. Uh, let's see. If I were to duplicate something, what would I want? If I duplicated the field mice, I could have an 8 and 4 field mouse. I could have a really annoying wolf cub combo. Um, hmm. Choices of the choices. So, I like a strong ant queen though. I like it a lot. Well, I, uh, having a hard time with this one. I think I'll go with the Ant Queen, though, since I'm going to focus on insects. And having two Ant Queens that are, like, six to defense. Oh, this one only got four. Oh, well. If they get combined, that would be ten defense and basically stay on the board forever, so. All right, Sigil Swap. Who do we want going out? Do Corpse Maggots, and we will have the moose buck auto deploy in the event that the uh, need arises. I think of that was a worthy cause. Okay, here we go. All right, angler is always tough, so we're gonna be on our high alert and uh, Make sure we can take it out. Kingfisher is our starter. Um, well, we could play Black Goat and get us a moose buck on the board right away, and that'll all but bring us to uh, the next phase. And yeah, we'll just stay with that for now. Okay. And let's have our uh, smoke get pulled over. Okay, and I think it's on the ring bell.
All right. Thankfully, our uh, Moose Buck is strong enough to withstand a hit from the Great White that is about to hop out at us. Oh. Big mistake. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it would get rid of it anyway, so they're going to be tied. And that Moose Buck is going to move around again. So next turn, I'll probably need to block it so that it doesn't um, hit in the wrong area. But I think that we're going to turn this around by and large here in the next turn. There we go. Okay. And now I need to trap and we spuck and we're going to win anyways. There we go. Wow. So when we get to the trapper again, we're going to have plenty to trade. I wonder if it's possible to have enough pelts in your hand that you could trade all the trapper's cards out of his hand. You'd have to have, I guess, eight um, in that boss fight. That would be really funny to see. I'm going to go with the mud turtle and maybe steal its sigil for somebody else. Having that blocker for first hit is pretty compelling. All right. Well, I'm happy with the items I have, and I don't see a compelling reason to go sacrifice something this um, up here. I think this route is going to be our better bet, because we have two cave events and a sigil swap, and I already have ideas of what I want to do. Ooh, well, this one's harder. Um, four attack power. I don't know if that's going to fly with ants. Um, six health. I'm not sure if golden or if pelts count like that, but I have a decent chance if, if I get the Ant Queen or any of these others. And four blood. Um, that might be a little bit harder. I think I'm gonna go with hearts. Oh, not quite. Oh, hey, wizard, how are you doing? Good to see you. We're just uh, getting first round of inscription in and uh, picking our interesting card setups. Uh, let's see, who are we going to put this on? Got a strong mud turtle. I think I want to put it, I'm thinking on the rattler might be interesting. We'll do that. Good to hear you're doing well, wizard. It's a good day to stream. <laughs> All right. So we could have something weak put on the board so that Moose Buck can come out and play. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and do that. We'll just put us a flying ant and uh, it'll absorb the damage and our Moose Buck should come out to um, attack. Yeah, there we go. And let's put a pelt in front of this Moose Buck and that's where we will land. Oh, they're not going to be in sync. Um, so I want to have to think of how to overcome that difference because we're going to have a lot of damage heading our way otherwise. Might win, actually, out of way. There we go. Got lucky with that. I was thinking we're about to run into a major issue. Alright, another cave attempt. Let's see if the chance goes better here. Three sigils. I think that's a winner. Let's go with it. Oh, just barely. Okay. Almost like I wasn't going to get it. All right. Great white with bees inside and it's unkillable. And a cockroach with touch of death and guardian. That's kind of hilarious. And an ant spawner with bifurcated strike on our um, little tentacle monster here. I think I'll go with it since it has a insect related ability and uh, we'll just keep rolling with it. Okay. Uh, what to duplicate? How about our 
moose buck. Because if we can get it to sigil and have a second moose buck that auto deploys, that would be fantastic. Four and nine, wow. That's a uh, pretty great power. We'll just keep running forward. Okay. All right, look at this wolf cub I have here. We're gonna put it down and it's gonna create dams and uh, watch for the name change when the dams uh, mature, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh man, I love this sense of humor. <laughs> it's kind of overpowered. Every time I've had this uh, set up, oh, it's about too soon. Um, it does really well, but I forgot about the airborne issue there. I should have used one of my upgrades. I just got too distracted at the silliness of it all. Um, well, I've got a lot to trade in, so I think I want to need to go this way and uh, trade in some of my pelts. Three sigils, two of kind, and... Um, power. I want to go sigils again. Hopefully we'll get lucky again. Oh, hey, we barely got it. Okay. Ooh, that's been the story of today. Mud turtle and let's see, shoving with bees within, bifurcated strike and tell. I think I'd rather have that than anything else because having um, that set of sigils could be pretty handy, I think. Okay, um, who do we want to give some health? Hmm. Well, could make our wolf cub really strong, or our rattler. How about... Hmm. Yeah, let's do our rattler. There we go. Let me give it just enough power that it can survive um, three attacks, maybe. Or at least an average of two would be ideal. Okay. Oh no, we have a wild bull that's going to come at us right away. So, um, maybe putting down a skunk will... Uh, Give us room for our moose buck to auto deploy here in a moment. Okay. Let's see. I think we're doing okay so far. Just need to make sure to not m let myself lose here. Um, so the moose buck will take out this lane. This wild bull is going to do some damage, unfortunately. Um, let's draw from here and see what we get. A rabbit pelt. Okay, that's uh, actually good news, I think. We'll put it here, and the wild bull, I guess, will move over in front of the frozen possum, like switch spots. Um, Moose buck will clear out this lane, and we'll just have to see what happens after that. May have to use one of my cards, but I'm not positive. Okay. Let's get another one of these. And a golden pelt. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to have to... Let's see. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to move anywhere again, so... Hmm. I'll play our golden pelt. Okay, and let's see, we'll play from here, and the black goat, um, we don't have enough to play our rattler yet, so the moose buck can take out the wild bull and do a decent amount of damage on the elk, but it's not going to be enough to kill it, so it's going to come down and do two damage, and the porcupine is going to add a third and we're gonna lose our skunk as well. So I'm feeling we'll have, kinda of have some pressure here to 
destroy some card somewhere. Um, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, this is a hard one. I may have to cut a card next turn. I'm not seeing a really a better way out of this. Um, still two bone tokens away from having something to um, be able to play the Rattler. So I could get one generated here, the squirrel dying. We'll just let that happen next, I guess. That'll reduce our overall damage a tiny bit. Okay. Um, that might give me enough bone tokens too. I can have the Rattler get deployed um, with what just happened. So, all right, field mice, good. Now we have, I think, enough power to uh, be dangerous now. So the Rattler um, could be deployed, let's say, right here and I need to get the field mice started up as well um, and if I use the aerial power I might have just enough to win it I might need to do a card cut to still thinking this one out um, oh yeah that's a good suggestion I've uh, gone back and forth thinking about what I might need to name something like that like switch it up every few days or so <laughs> let's do something like this and what does this leave us with so if I do the aerial that would give me um, eight I believe three seven no eleven so let's do that and I think that'll give me enough to win okay Okay, well, I have a lot of pelts, but I could trade them in at the end. Um, I could do a fungus event and combine up two cards. Um, could have like a mega ant queen, or what else could we have? I think that we could have a very strong moose buck, a eight and sixteen moose buck. Wow, could you imagine? I feel like it's kind of wasting the sigil a little bit there. Um, maybe trading in would make more sense because I have a chance to do a power up. And um, item wise, I don't see a good, I just don't see anything that compels me to do a, a fungal event here, turning two into one. Um, I guess having a skunk that way wouldn't be a horrible idea. A zero, a zero and six, it could block damage for a while, but yeah, let's just go trade in the pelts we have and uh, go from there. Okay. Oh, there's another moose buck and another ant queen as well. I think I'll go with the alpha and we will do an ant queen. All right, golden pelts. Um, it's so late, but hmm, Mantis God, I won't be able to combine it with anything. I don't think. Um, unfortunately, having to, you know, try for Katie to strike is sweet. All man could help take some heat off of us, so so I think I'll go with it and pack rat give us a chance to get some items if we run low during the boss fight which is coming up I should say boss fights because we're gonna have practically two in a row all right let's uh, give somebody some attack power here um, how about our mole man since it's gonna be on the board for a little while it might as well contribute to the offense 
and time for a sigil swap. So, what could we put where? Who would make the most sense? The alpha on something basic or something that has a lot of um, health sounds interesting. Um, having it on Mole Man sounds kind of neat. Uh, let's see what other opportunities we could put. Could put the skunk's stinky on somebody to uh, make another cool set. I could put it on the Mole Man, actually, and wherever it goes, it could also weaken whoever is uh, in front of it in case it's one of the soul attackers. Um, so I'm going to do that. It might be a good combo. Let's see. It looks like it gave it some other weird... Oh, it's just this shovel lit up. I thought it gave it a second sigil there, so just one. Interesting. I'm not sure I realized the Mole Man's um, sigil lit up that way. And oh wow, I think I want to make it through the game without having a completed uh, totem. I guess that might be where I stop on the uh, next place if possible. Alright, uh, Wolf Cub. So... Unfortunately, it only has like one place, it really has no place it can survive, um, and even the dams would be destroyed. I feel like I have almost no choice but to play it. Moosebuck is, uh, would get deployed right after, um, and we could block damage for a bit, but I could cut the card and generate two dams and uh, then play the wolf cub and be in, a, I think, an excellent spot. So let's do that. And yeah, I think that this will add us some power that we need because um, this dam will also wipe out the leaping trap. And yeah, that's actually looking pretty good now. Okay. There we go. I think we have some coverage that we're needing. All right. There we go. And I think this is going to be over really quickly, actually. Um, we will just keep collecting squirrels because we're going to be in that next phase. Like already. Wow. This round pretty much played itself through. That was cool. Only have two trades to make though. So let's see what would be good to get. Um, I really don't like this dire wolf um, or the great white. These higher end guys though are pretty tough. So the River Sniper only does one damage at a time, but Dire Wolf and Great White do four each turn. So I think that they are the ones that need to go. And um, we have just about enough to get either of them on the board. But I could use more squirrels, I think. The first dam is going to take out the Coyote. The Wolf will take out the Bloodhound. And the Rattler will overcome the Furry Tail. The Moose Buck will do considerable damage on the River Snapper, but not quite take it out. Um, so I can actually sacrifice the Furry Tail. That's cool. Um, but I can't get rid of. Um, I don't think I want to get rid of everything just to play it. So let's go ahead and let the first turn play, and we'll see what we're left with. Okay. And um, if we can get the Dire Wolf or the Great White on board, that might be our best bet. Um, this wolf will take it out. The Moose Buck will destroy this. This Moose Buck will destroy that. I'm afraid that my points are kind of low, so I'm afraid to um, do anything that won't get some damage on the board. So we don't have enough for the Rattler. We can get the Dire Wolf. 
or the great white on board. So if we place a goat, um, I also have enough that I could get that guy on and the wolf would then attack, but then the moose buck would uh, add back in. So I think we're going to play the goat as much as I uh, don't want to. I just really want to make sure I don't lose right here due to a miscalculation, which, you know, happens from time to time. So let's just take it this way. There we go. Now we're in the safe zone, I think. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't make it. Uh, I should have considered that vulture. I didn't look close enough. Uh, that was rough. <laughs> oh, man. That was so close. I felt like we were this close to winning, too. That was one of my best hands. I was really impressed with how it was going out. It was a good build. Um, that's about all the time I have for today. So I'm going to go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been S -tier Inc. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S -tier Inc. And I'll have the replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thank you. Have a good one.